Good evening, welcome back. So, it is actually Tuesday today of week four. I didn't work yesterday, I worked on another project that I need to get finished, that I put on hold to do those happy days. The van is now backed up to the workshop. Today's jobs, or this week's jobs, are as follows. So first of all, the door is now returned from the paint shop. I've now got to cut the hole out and seal the door in and get that sorted, get it framed out. Both skylights have turned up. We've got the Max Air fan, which is the deluxe one, and then we've got the Sky Max Skylight, which is one that opens up so they can get out onto the roof again the deluxe xl full all singing all dancing thing so i've got those to do those are hopefully going to complete today and then later on chippy is coming rick beachwood big up rick beachwood there'll be a link to his channel he's going to start building the kitchen cabinet that's going to take a long time because he's going to do some other stuff as well so they're very similar to these kitchen cabinets actually all handmade all lovely i need to go to screw fix to pick up some sealant to seal the door in so i'm going to take this opportunity to go on my motorbike <laughs> come on come on let's go it's exciting Fix is done. Oh, Skymax, courtesy of Leisure Vehicle Services. Big up to Steph from Leisure Vehicle Services. Always been a good supporter of not just myself but the van life community in general. Thank you, Steph. Max Air Fan Deluxe. That is going here where I wrote on fan just to remind me where it goes. Sky Max. Now that is going above the bed here. With that, they'll be able to stand on the bed, get out the roof, onto hopefully some decking. And then the door situation is as we left it last week, but the door is now back. I'll show you that door now. So it's been painted the same colour as the piano van, as it's now known. So now I've got to get that in. If I've measured right, which I'm not known for doing, I just really need to cut up these lines here and that's it. The door is cut out. Just test fitted the door. Just test fitted the door, what do you think? Uh, really good. Uh, surprised. <laughs> surprised. Surprised by my measuring is what they mean. Yeah, that's fine, I, I thought I'd be really nervous about that, but I'm not anymore, because it looks good. Do you think they're happy enough to go buy coffees? <laughs> Probably not. I'll take the hint of it, shall we? <laughs> we should do it before Rick gets here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll edit that bit out, yeah? Right. The door is in. Uh, we've just sealed it. As you can see, there's some sealing coming out, sealing coming out the outside there. That's good. It means it's going to be a good seal. I've taped it in for the time being, and... 
We're just going to leave the sealant to go off now. Once that's gone off and we're happy with that, then I'm going to screw it in from the inside. But for now, the back of the van is out of bounds. We don't want the van rocking or moving or anything while that sealant's going off. But look at the colour match. Absolutely spot on. Isn't that amazing? Now the door is aluminium with insulation and then a sheet of aluminium. So even the door's insulated. Absolutely perfect. Right, so this is what the door looks like from the inside. Obviously, it's gonna be framed in somewhat, and then we may put some sort of finish on this, but again, we'll leave that for a later date to see what it looks like. It could be good just to be putting a wrap on it, or maybe even cladding it, but I don't really wanna screw anything to it. I'm just gonna go around it with some sealant from the inside now, but I just want to show you what it looked like. Now, I'm not really wanting to be moving around in back of here because it does move a bit. So while this sealant is still wet, I don't want anybody in here. So currently everybody's banned from being here. go that's that finished off but I think that it might have to be a bit of a leave that for a few hours now and I have got the skylights to do but I'm gonna leave that for the time being again I don't really want things moving about too much but the doors looking good and I hope you're happy with it Good morning, it's, when, is it Wednesday? No, Tuesday, it's Tuesday. Is it Wednesday? Oh, it's Wednesday, okay, it's Wednesday. For me, today's job is to fit the other Skymax and then finish off the door bits, but we've got Rick Beachwood here, who is the kitchen build, are you a kitchen builder now, is that your? It's, it's basically a van builder without doing any of the shit jobs. Wood monkey. <laughs> Wood monkey, yeah. But Rick builds full vans, except there's all the shittish insulation and all that shit. He's like a posh van builder. Yeah. I'm gonna start on the skylight now. Skymax fan is in, Max Air fan is in. Now I'm gonna tell you briefly the difference between the two. This one's a fan, kind of says it on the tin. This one's a fan, it, it lifts up, it's got a, a, a hatch that lifts up to let air in and then it, the fan either goes forwards or backwards to draw air in or draw air out. Whereas this one is a skylight, it has a blackout blind, so when they are asleep, you not see any light coming in. In summer, they can have a fly net across. You can see there, it's got lights built in. Just turn those on now, on permanently, just, just for testing purposes. Obviously you can turn those on and off, so there'll be a good amount of light in the bedroom area, as well as the reading lights they've got over there. But the main feature of this is... Is it working now? I'm just recording, get the Barsley accent out of it, bloody way. It's a little bit stiff, because I've just put it in, but it that is the roof hatch. So then they are going to be able to get out onto the roof and on the roof there will be their decking, etc, etc. This is me standing on the bed and this is how high it is so it's easy to get out onto the roof. It's coming along now, isn't it? 
so far today you've seen the skylights and everything just want to show you what rick's been on with so far we've got a spice shelf or uh this is currently got coconut this is going to fit 12 of these up there so it's had to be a specific size and then the door frame is now done as you can see all the way around it is wonderful open the door it's all nice now all the glue's gone off now that the door is is bonded well and truly in i've just been running cables uh, we've decided that we're running an extra cable here which is going to be to the kitchen unit so they can have lights underneath the kitchen units which will light up their kitchen just run the cable for the max air fan which runs behind this cavity here and all down there and then i'm just marking them all off they're ready they all just need to go to switches and fuse boards etc we're all hard at work today now, as you can see it's busy everybody's busy except one person Father Christmas has gone to sleep that's what he does right the next job is we bought some paint to paint this roof obviously it's a bit of a horrible yellowy color we're gonna paint it black the reason why we're painting it black is because uh, black paint is cheap and also there's gonna be a roof rack and roof deck and solar panels on top so it's not gonna i know that people are gonna say in the comments it's gonna be hot in summer it's not gonna be hot in summer don't worry about it anyway i'm gonna paint it black before we do anything else and then tomorrow the roof rack is starting to be built i need to get paint on it first obviously before we do that Hello, right, so it is now Thursday of week four. So coming towards the end of week four, I'm just about to start my commute to work. And I just thought you might want to come along with me on my commute to work. Just, I'm just, I'm just recording my, my commute to work. <laughs> Same with my, my oh, 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 oh. Overhead cupboard. Look at that bad boy. Overhead cupboard is underway. Spice wrap. And there's a sparse rack and then today i have to start the plumbing the plumbing is for the shower obviously here and then these tea pieces go off to the sink which will be here eventually uh, i'm going to start the waste uh, plumbing for the shower also which is i've decided is going to go back here it's not that straightforward i've got to do some trickery and that some plumbing trickery but that's where it's going to go then the week four we're looking quite good it's not bad for four weeks really a big van These are going to span across to carry it to solar panel. So basically, what we do, these will drop on here like this. The solar panel then sits onto this, and this mounts it in three places. <laughs> then the strut bolts across the roof. And jobs are good. Jobs are fish. That's it.
my gum. Right, so I'm going to talk you through the situation on the roof. Sean here has put this unistrut that runs all the way down the sides, all the way from front to back on both sides, and that's meant uh, just shimmy across this roof. Uh, that we use unistrut uh, on our horizontals as well, and then solar panel is bolted to that in six places. As you can see, the solar panel is on. There's going to be another solar panel here at the other side of the fan. And then you can see also the decking. Uh, that's the same what we're going to use, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So this is just a test piece, obviously, but there's going to be a piece that more or less runs full length all the way down. And then the decking, uh, the deck area will start, I think, around here. Because the solar panel is going to go there to about here. So that means that all of that space there is going to be their roof deck, which they can access through the hatch, um, get out onto here and just have a have a chill, have a breather, have a, I don't know, what do you have? Sangria? Sangria? Uh, olives? <laughs> Kebab? Ke they probably won't be having kebabs. <laughs> they might be having some lettuce. Um, Tomato. So when, this is not going to be done this week because it's already end of day, but uh, when the two solar panels are on and then the decking will connect it all and sit flush just show us how it sits flush on that so it sits more or less up against the solar panel there's, there's like a thing that comes over here like a cover that will come and then over there's a lip and, on the side that, as well so the whole roof will be covered which is why i painted it black just so that through the gaps you couldn't see that horrible sort of yellowy stuff so now it'll all be there you go look it'll all be sit, sat up against it all flush it will be well, it'll be Bobby Dazzler, won't it? Yeah, it'll be brilliant, yeah. So, that's the state of play up, up on the roof. We are about at the end of week four now. We're going to be packing up and stuff, but you don't want to see that. So the cupboard, the cupboard is in. Now, I just want to show you that this cupboard is all is all in. The doors have just been made now by Rick. Just there. The doors have been made. The doors probably won't be going in today, I wouldn't have thought. I can't explain to you how, what work has gone into these cupboards. This, these walls, none of these walls are straight. The roof curves, so everything has to be made by hand, millimeter perfect. I think it's three millimeters out from there, back there. So every measurement has to be exact. And that's why we got Rick to do it, because he's good at that kind of stuff. As you've seen, the roof situation is coming on well. The skylights have been put in. The van is really, really starting to come together. We've even got the bed lats and starting to put the, the, the bed together properly now. Obviously we're nowhere near finished, it's going to be another few weeks, so don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I will be putting out notifications and everything for you to, to, to follow along. I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't forget to go follow Rick the Beechwoods, there's a link in the description for that channel. Him and his family live in there, Laurie, which is an amazing Laurie. Obviously, go follow those happy days. I forgot to say it last week. I was just so busy. I'm filming while I'm working ain't the best thing. So I'm not at my best filming while I'm working. So if I forget things, I forget things. But I'm trying to remember all that now. So go subscribe to both Beachwoods and those happy days. Uh, and then obviously go subscribe to me, which is the most important thing. Another few weeks, and I think that we'll be not far off complete. There's, there's, there's a lot to do, but at the same time, not a lot left to do. The big work, apart from Rick doing the kitchen, is, is done. Thank you so much to everybody who has joined us on this journey. Like I say, updating this every single week now. Uh, go follow my Instagram, which is Liam the Terrible. Um, I also do TikToks as well, which is quite a popular thing. Uh, I'm called Liam Terrible on there without the the. And the Beachwoods Instagram, those happy days Instagram. Go follow that for pictures and insights into how we live. I live full time in my Land Rover in case you didn't know that. If you want to follow that journey, I upload on here on a Friday and then update you on this build on a Tuesday. As always with these videos, me being the worst YouTube YouTuber ever, forgot to say goodbye and everything. So it's now two days later. It's now Saturday. I'm saying goodbye to you now. Don't forget to check the description for all the links you need to find there. Go follow the Beachwoods and those happy days and we'll see you next week. Hope you've had a good week. I hope you've enjoyed these videos. Hope you've enjoyed this series of videos. Leave some comments below. I'll see you soon. Bye, Felicia.